OCR in Jaws 2021 to see if we got any extra feedback there, uh, but it does not look like that feature is going to work. So we're just going to so continue. So here we go. It all starts now. A new season of college football underway here in Miami. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Let me see if I can get some... Um, get some Twitter stuff going. Get some Twitter stuff going. Working out of the gun, it's Barrett. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Simpson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. 44-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz it? Do I need to pressure it? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Seven yards there and a first down. The 45-yard line. From the shotgun, here's Barrett over the middle, and it's incomplete. Cameron, the intended receiver there, that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and ten. Barrett, and he comes back with one complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. That's going to bring up four down, only a gain of two there. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right. They're kind of played into their hands. And he has got it oh, what from a 55 yards what a away. Kick. That was never in doubt. Tiger, they were probably hoping to get a little bit closer for sure to field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes.
So Oregon gets the field goal, and now their special teams unit ready to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Here we go, his first collegiate snap. What a spot as the Tigers come up first and 10. From the gun, Bowles. Oh, he's gonna air it out right away. It's caught inside the 25. And he will take this in, touchdown LSU. A big play there, 78 yards, and LSU has jumped out in front. Well, Coach O'Brien, he could not have asked for a better start for this offense, getting a score on their opening possession, and I guess maybe that justifies the call he made with which quarterback to start. I'm just wondering, from everything we heard this offseason, what do you think, partner? Did he flip a coin about who would start a quarterback? Or did he really evaluate them in the preseason? But look, that first drive, first career start against a big-time opponent, packed stadium, noise coming from everywhere. How about how he handled this? Took the team right downfield, put six on the board. And how about the statement of Tommy Matthews on the sideline? He's telling him, this is my job to lose. To the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Third and seven. To throw on third down, Barrett. Buying time to his left. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. My God, defense. A big chunk Step on the up. ground there, 27 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Well, a two-yard touchdown. Grab. And the Ducks have the lead. And they're down to the goal line here. And they're down to the goal line here. 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 Extra point attempt to come here. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Ducks 10. The LSU tight. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. First and 10 at their own 21 yard line. Full speed protector, recognize it, result, zero for Candler, first, 104, and less pass, shallow cross. Smash. Texas. Full speed, recognize it, result, copy, holds, QT, zero for Candler, first, 104, 20 choice, equals 22, ask, 1 call, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 22, full ask, 1 call, 0, stick, at tempo, sit, at tempo, sit, flip. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. Oh, and you would have thought they would have been ready the last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Full speed, recognizing result, LSU's first, 0 for 25. Let's handle cost. Ask, O shark HP deal. Ask, there goes. DAMB alert, make the DS fly. O, O, LD gets two. Stick, H shallow cost. Michael 0.0, white shallow cost. Tempo simply, tempo simply, tempo simply. From the 25, here's second and six. Operating from the gun. Bulls. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. First and a nice throw there by the junior quarterback who gets his first start today. And we we'll talked with head coach Red 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 in order to prepare their team. But in this case, I think now as a head coach, he gave both of these quarterbacks equal time with the starters during practice. And you know that with this defensive mindset, he wants to let this competition sort itself out. That's how he got his defensive guys ready. He's gonna try and do the exact same thing with the starting quarterback. Whoever plays best, they'll likely stay on the field the longest. 42 yard line. Dagger. Full screen. Recognizing. Result. LSU second. Six of Feral. PAMB. Smooth back. Odd luck. 60. Flesky. Fast. Dagger. Come back. Divide. Double dig. Double post. Flood. Full screen. Recognizing. LSU second. Six of Feral. PAMB. Odd luck. 264. Add. O post. Add. O flood. Two calls. One five. Oscon flood. At tempo. At tempo. Zim flip. First and ten. LSU. From the gun. Bulls. Looking left sideline, incomplete. To the sideline. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 22 yards there, a first down. Another first down. I'll tell you what, he has got his guys on the move, and he looks awfully comfortable out there for this being his first start. On first down, Kelly. Jeremiah. Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Kelly on the counter. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third well down. done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Running it with Jacobs. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. 
They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles, but you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to him, and he can be the best one to get Here's a first and goal, LSU. Operating from the gun. Bulls. Yeah, he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. From eight yards out. And LSU has jumped out in front. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Now for the point after. And that makes it 14-10. The LSU Tigers, 14, Ducks, 10. They're going to throw them. Hello. Hello there. How you doing? After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football the way he sees it. I he wants him. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's Where's his tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. On first, again, they go with Ferguson. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Ferguson, the ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Taken down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Throw left side complete. It's Ferguson. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense. What a tackle. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. They'll run on first down. 
It's Kelly. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Second and 10 at the 41 yard line. Running for the shotgun with Drake. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45. He was brought down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run it, try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Okay, let's see what yeah. we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On third down, Bulls complete to Kelly. Well, this is going to depend on the oh, spot, not get it. it's oh. not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So much about offense is what we call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Oh, and he he's got, got it. He more than got it. How about them biting off 15 yards there on, on the fourth down attempt back and handle. keeping the drive alive? I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Bowles. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Throwing again. Bowles. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 11 yards there. First down. LSU with a first and 10. At tempo, it's in. Oh, smash. Full screen protector. Source video capture device. Operating from the gun. Bowles. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Alexander Rutgers. Oh. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Full screen protector, source, video capture, recognizing result, LSU, second, zero, barrel, faster, previous, cover, freeze, corner, strike, let's quick pass, Omaha. Ohio, stand, stand. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. The final shot before break. Bowles, and he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. From eight yards out, and LSU has jumped out in front. And pass interference, they will decline this. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't do even know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep Murray moving. Abraham. I'll tell you what, a pretty special performance for his first ever start, now with three touchdown passes. Well, that's not a bad number to get things going, is it? Because, let's face it, we had our attention on him coming into this game. He's fully captivated us now with every score. I think he's making his case to stay as the starting quarterback and not get back involved in the rotation the system. There's a break in the action. The stream will resume momentarily.
Now are we? Yes, we are now. Okay. A brief intermission. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And this carries into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds will tick by in this first half. And with that, we reach halftime in Miami in the opener to this college football season. 21, Ducks 10. 21 to 10, LSU has the lead. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Snap. Full screen. Recognize it. Result. Unless you're teasing. Barrel. Faster. Previous. Color. Rumble. Pattern. Less medium. Fast. Shallow. Cost. Smash. Shallow. Cost. Smash. Texas. Full screen. Recognize it. Result. Unless you're first. 5 to 35. Texas. As. 2 balls. 2.5. Angle. Angle. Smash. As. Barrel. Pose. Faster. Fast. Previous. Fly. Oh. Oh. Color. Rumble. Pattern. Texas. 13 calls, 8.2 ABP is angle smash. Tempo simply, tempo simply, tempo simply. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Bowles. That's caught by Kelly. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. And Charles, to this point, no change at the quarterback position, and we had heard that there might be some toggling back and forth between the top two guys, but it says something about his performance in the first half. That performance has been evaluated by the new head coach, Ray O'Brien, and we've known him as a defensive guy, of course, former defensive coordinator. Those are his roots, but no change. That must mean that he believes that the offense is in good hands and he wants to continue to ride with him. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Operating from the gun. Bulls and incomplete. Intended for number 83. The incomplete pass there, and you just you think about the quarterback position in college football. Kind of seems like once you get a guy developed, his four years are up just like that. He's off to the NFL. So what we're seeing here, a first ever college start at the quarterback position. How hard is it to win with someone who is unproven like that? It's always hard. Now, we've seen guys do it, but to me, there are few and far between because the teams that don't have returning starters at that position or at least guys that saw significant action and can handle the pressure a little bit, I, you got to put them a little bit of a notch below everyone else because in high school, those guys can get by on raw talent. It's harder to do that on the college level. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Come back. Goodbye. Double dig. Double post. Flood. Vertical. Full screen with recognizing result. LSU third. Fourth pass. Flood. Two calls. 11.2. Barrel pose. Handler. Make it. Seven years. Fly by. O post. Ass. O. O. Cover for show two. Batter. Flood. Two calls. One five six. Strong flood. Tempo simply. Tempo simply. Tempo simply. Tempo simply. Full screen with recognizing result. Barrel pose. Handler. Meaning score. And LSU O. Flood. Two calls. Post. Cover for show batter. Ass. O. Flood. S. Two calls. One post. Strong flood. Tempo simply. At tempo simply. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Intended for and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Bowles. 
And caught. This is Bennett, the tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, these college offenses, Charles, so wide open. And there's an example right there that we just saw. And let me ask you, how does a college offense differ from an NFL offense, or does it? Well, it still does, Brandon, because... NFL offenses, while they're continuing to embrace what the colleges are giving them more and more, they're still not playing as fast as a general rule. You know, most college offenses will run about 15 plays per game more than NFL offenses will. They'll take a few more chances in what they're doing, maybe try and isolate their, their star player a little bit better. Yeah, there's still some differences in what we're seeing. But for me, speed and pace of play for college offenses is still ahead of what we see in the NFL. And he'll take this one down near the 15. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. And we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. They get your eyes in the wrong place, but you're right about that one. He corrected you that one out and made a really nice play. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. From the gun, Bowles, open man is Holmes. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four, 15 yards there for number 15. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. And that's now his fourth touchdown pass of the ball game. And boy, this has been quite a performance for the junior, as we remind you, getting his first ever college start. And this has really been an amazing story because ordinarily, when a junior's making his first start, he's had a few reps along the way prior to it. But in this case, the number is zero. So this is almost off the charts. They were watching him make his first start as a junior and already he's thrown four touchdown passes in this game this is absolutely amazing extra point splits the uprights and the lead is up to 18 now after the touchdown the lsu tigers kick team out there to send this one away this taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Third down and six. Operating from the gun. Barrett. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Oregon's punter out on the field as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is fielded at the 27. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up and now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. On second down, it's Drake. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. 
A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Back-to-back -back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed a maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Bowles. He's going to let one fly here for Avant. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's got his man, Avon. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 21 yards there, a big play on fourth down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Off play action, Bowles. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. That's good for another LSU first down. From the gun, it's Drake. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. This offense so far on third down, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. Runs through the contact. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I tell you, you, know, you look around the college football landscape, and there's some really good running backs this year. The draft projections really littered with that crop of players, and we've got a couple of them in our game here this afternoon. And I'm glad that you pointed that out, partner, because we always talk about the guys who throw the football and the guys who catch the ball, but the runners are still... And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. <laughs> After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Taken in the end zone, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked Go to so someone well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. First and 10, LSU. Running, it's 
Drake. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Right back to Drake. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Stepping up, and he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. It's their quarterback. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. As we saw right there, you know, they've got a quarterback that, while well, yes, he can throw it, he's not afraid to tuck the ball and run, and it paid off with a score on that last play. Yeah, Brandon, he's a true dual threat guy. I mean, if you take away the passing lanes, he'll use his legs and create plays like one we just saw there. I don't really think this young guy could just tuck it and go more times than not if he chose to do so. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone, and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Offense on the field ready for their next possession. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, man. Because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Off the play fake, Barrett. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. The third down. The under domination here LSU. just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing the Canadian defense. 12 guys on the <laughs> field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They run the counter. It's Kelly. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Brings up third and 13. Right 
waiting for the gun. Bowles. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Charles, here we are in the fourth quarter, and they've got a pretty comfortable lead here. You know, Coach O'Brien, as we talked about, he made those statements about his plans to possibly rotate the quarterbacks, but we have not seen any sign of Tommy Matthews. And we certainly expected to see him. Look, you and I both sat in there, partner, with Coach O'Brien, and he indicated that he planned to rotate quarterbacks to find out what he had. Good. But with the play that he's seen here, he's like any head coach. He reserves the right to change his mind. And maybe he knew a little bit more than he was willing to tell us that maybe Tommy Matthews is exactly in his favor, especially considering the lead they have now. And he still hasn't gone to the bench. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waiting moments of this one. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. From the gun, Barrett into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's fourth down. On fourth down, Barrett found his target. It's Anderson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That right now. That's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Incomplete. Oregon's punter out on the field as he's on to kick it away. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Tempo simply, full screen, recognize it. Result QT number 17. Zero pose. Faster passes the camp. Epic off by Oregon go. LSU 45. Scores. Fourth. 0 7 Seven seconds left. LSU with a first and ten. And they take a knee. Today's final score, the LSU Tigers 45, Ducks 10. We'll finish this scene and then we will call it a night. Full screen protector, source, op 60, op 26.0. Video capture device. But after several weeks, you and Tommy had rotated quite a bit. Reminiscent of Michigan when Tom Brady and Drew Henson split snaps. That had to be frustrating for you both. Wake up. Audio mixer window. Sources window. List video capture device. What are these dishes doing at my feet? Because it's time for you to start cleaning up your crap. Uh, these dishes have been lying in the sink for almost two weeks. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster. You're leaving everything laying around. It's ridiculous. Who crawled up your butt and died? You. 
Gross. Hey, get up, man. I want to watch some TV. You've been laying out here all morning. What's got you two all riled up? Just turn up the volume, would you? The Heartbreak Kids have gone from sensational dynamic duo to a sudden two-headed monster. And boy, this is an ugly one. Hey, I thought I played pretty good out there. This team still has not found its identity, and I know that Coach O'Brien claims that his two-quarterback system is matchup-based, but I gotta tell you, it sure looks like he still doesn't have a clue what's going on. As Coach Madden famously once said, if you've got two quarterbacks, you've got none. And right now, I gotta tell you, man, Coach O'Brien's indecisiveness with the most important position on the team is only gonna lead to problems on the field. The answer is simple. Just start me. That would make the situation worse. I mean, the team plays better when I'm on the field. Everybody knows that. If I could just get into a rhythm, I'd be fine. Last thing I need is to be worrying about you breathing down my neck if I make one mistake. Well, you better believe it that I'll be there when you do. Okay, I see what's going on here, guys. I don't know what made you follow me here and try to win back your old position. I mean, you could have just kept the Heartbreak Kids going, or you could have went your own route on another team, but you decided to, what, come here and punish me? Is that it? What are you talking about? You're the one who showed up and stole what was mine in the first place, okay? I'm supposed to be Batman, you're Robin. Look, I get you're upset, but we're in this together. No, we're not. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know what his problem is. You gotta go talk to him, man. Go clear the air. He's the one with the problem. Look, if he wants to talk, he can... You can come find me. <sighs> Jumping fiddlesticks. Video capture the audio mid-scene preparations, control, start record, start virtual camera, check box, start record, stop streaming, check box, check. And that is where we will leave them. Here in a little bit will be the Stardew Sunday stream.